Hi kids, welcome to Story Stop. My name is Meredith and I'm grandma to some awesome, awesome kids. Hey Ocean, hey Sage, hey Alicia. Just wanted to give them a quick shout out because they're watching too. Well, Story Stop is a place that you can come and hear all kinds of wonderful, fantastic stories that I find at the library. You can find stories at your local library as well. All you need is a library card. Chances are your mom or your dad or your grandma or grandpa already have a library card. But I take my library card to the library each week and I pick out stories that I think that you would just love. And sometimes I even get books for myself, some grown-up books, a little bit longer like chapter books. Anyway, Story Stop is a place that we're gonna have new stories every week or so, and you can come back and visit anytime you want. Just ask a parent or a grandparent to show you the way. And now, let's get on with it. Let's hear our first story. The first story I'm going to tell you here on Story Stop is called Grandma Calls Me Beautiful. Grandma Calls Me Beautiful is written by Barbara M. Juice and it's illustrated by Barbara Lavalle. Tutu, tell me our story. Beautiful made herself small as a kalo sprout and nestled against Grandma's side. Which story? There are so many to choose. Which one will I choose? You know, Tutu, our story, the beautiful one. Grandma picked up a string and began. Once upon an island, in the deep blue sea, a new girl baby was born. That was me, said Beautiful. I was the girl baby. So you were, said Grandma, smiling. Open your eyes, said the grandmother, so I can see who you are. The baby opened her eyes and the grandmother looked inside. Aloha, she said. You're bright as a cocoa torch. Your breath is sweet as breadfruit pudding and your skin is soft as caper cloth. I will call you beautiful because you are. And grandma wove the rest of the talk story and beautiful's fingers twitched along. The village sang to Beautiful. Aunties beat the kappa cloth. Tap, tap, tap. Papa's kneaded the soil. Pat, pat, pat. And spotted dogs barked at the noonday sun. Woof! The sea danced for Beautiful. Seaweed swayed to the rhythm of the waves while fish twirled through holes in the bright red coral reef. At last, the grandmother touched noses with Beautiful so she could share her breath. Then she held her upside down so she could walk on the sky. Has anyone ever held you upside down? Wasn't it fun? Didn't you feel like you were walking on the sky? Finished, Grandma tucked the string away. Tutu, said Beautiful, the chickens have fancy feather colors. Aye, they're puffed up with color. And the piglets and dragonflies and birds, even the land snails are like jewels in the trees. Yes, they sing about their color. But my hair is plain black. Black is the color of the deep dark night, snapping with stars. And my skin is brown. Brown is the color of a kalo field, kneaded smooth by many feet. T 
tutu. Am I still beautiful? Beautiful is who you are. What if I grew big? Then you'd be big beautiful. What if I grew very, very big and you grew very, very small and I sat on your lap and squashed you flat? Then I'd squeeze myself out and sit on your lap. Sometimes mama says I have minnows squirming under my skin. Then you're wiggly, but you're still beautiful. Sometimes I scare Rooster just to hear his big noise. Then you're a little naughty, but still, you're beautiful. Beautiful uncurled the fingers of Grandma's hand and kissed the soft inside. Aloha, aloha, beautiful, Grandma sang. You're the song of the village and the dance of the deep blue sea part of the mamas and the papas and the dear little babies and me. You are who you are, bright as a kukui torch, sweet as breadfruit pudding, soft as capo cloth. Look at the beautiful flowers grandma stringing in beautiful hair. Those are called plumeria. Forever and for always beautiful. Beautiful was afraid that as she grew bigger, she wouldn't be beautiful anymore. What makes us beautiful is not how big or little we are. It's not what color hair we are, have. Oops, not what what color hair we have, not what color skin we have. We are beautiful. You are beautiful. All of you are beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this story and we'll come back for more next week. Take care and have an awesome week, everybody. Bye, Ocean. Bye, Sage. Bye, Alicia.